of you know, I like to stay in a lot of hotels. Uh, as a former hotel manager, I'm a hotel fan. And if you look on my channel, I got hotels, very, very high-end hotels and very unique hotels. Tonight, I'm staying in a kind of a guest house kind of hotel in the city of Chaoqing, China. There's a big park right in the center of town called the Seven Star Crags, and I'm gonna be exploring that this afternoon. Uh, I have a small view of the lake, but it's not very good view. I'm only on the second floor. This hotel only has maybe 15 rooms total, and it's brand new. It opened maybe a year ago. It's in like a little village on the outskirts of a little tiny village on this peninsula. What I like about these little guest houses, these little tiny hotels, is that they're so quirky. You're not gonna find hotel rooms and a, a stay experience like this in some of the larger hotels in town. In English, this is called the Lotus Lake B&B. Ooh, a little bit of wind. I'm starting my little walkabout of the Seven Stars Crags. Oh, possible thunderstorms coming in today. We'll see what that does to my little hike. Typically these little thunderstorms come and go. On the horizon though, I don't see any sun. So I might be here a while. Just a quick little rainstorm and I'm back at it. Jiaoqing is about an hour and a half west of Huangzhou. About two and a half hours from my home in Zhongshan. I have been here a couple times before. Uh, my first time here was within my first year of China. I took the high-speed rail here and uh, walked around. This is before I had my channel, so I didn't film it or document it. But I remember how wonderful experience it was. This landscape has the Karst Mountain kind of landscape, and uh, they call it like a little mini granny. It's got the same kind of feel to it. However, it's surrounded by this beautiful lake, and uh, it really is the centerpiece of the city of Chaoqing. There's some caves and some temples and some beautiful gardens. Just a pleasant place to go for a walk. The last time I was here, I just had a little stopover on my way to Yangshuo, and uh, I had tried to come here one other time, but it was pouring rain. And uh, you can watch that video here called my Zhao Qing walkabout fail. It is a hot, sticky August afternoon. Should be a great hike and a sticky, sweaty one. The mountain to the north here is quite famous. I'll be exploring it tomorrow. You know, growing up as a little boy in America, you would see photos of China. You know, you get your own little conception of what the landscapes and the scenery is like. And I have to admit, this is very iconic. When I think of China as a young boy, these are the images that come to mind. And to be here, even though I've been here for many years, every time I see it, it's awe-inspiring. See, I'm, I'm on this walkway embankment that uh, has uh, several bridges that go over to the park itself. And I recall, you buy a ticket and you can get in. But all of these bridges are closed. To actually get into the park, I'm at a loss. I don't know how to get there. I think I have to walk to the other side. Literally to the other side of the lake. This is a big lake. <laughs> Here's another little walkway that is closed. Can't get over to the other side. You can see how beautiful this is. I mean, it's lush and green with these purple flowers on the hillside. I mean, going for a walk along the outskirts is really enjoyable. I haven't even gotten in the park yet. Okay, I found the entrance to the park. Okay, I made it in. 70 RMB, so about $10 to get in. There's uh, electric buses you can take around for an extra 15. I'm just gonna walk it. Uh, then there are some boat rides you can take because it just rained and the sun is still out It is like a, a sauna walking around here. This area has a tourist attraction history of over 1300 years Wow Some of the infrastructure including one of the bridges at the beginning is over 700 years old coming from Southern California Where everything is under hundred years old. It truly is amazing.
That's pretty cool, they have an archery range. All the fish, they, they follow you. <laughs> as soon as you stop, they all gather waiting for food. These little yellow boats I see are quite popular in this part. Well, this park is really well developed. It's uh, beautiful, it's well groomed, well managed. There's no litter anywhere. People are friendly here. It's great. I mean, if I lived in the city of Jiaoqing, I would come here often. This is a great place to go for a jog. Even though it's really, really hot, the crags, the water, the wind, it creates a little bit of a, a cooler atmosphere than it is on the other side of town. This is the Long Yang Dong Cave, and it looks kind of neat. Check this out. There are Chinese inscriptions all over the world. Admittedly, uh, very touristy. It's made to look like a natural cave, but it's it looks like something from Disneyland. Very low bridge. Tough to get in here. seeing flying around hanging from the roof those are bats this is a strange cave it's a man-made cave almost like a mine and it's noticeably cooler in here it's really nice and there's all these like little walkways that are carved into the mountain that go into other little rooms, caves. I admit, it's a little eerie because I think I'm the only one in this cave. Pops you out a lovely temple. This temple seems to be closed. There's nobody here, I'm the only one. Wonderful little souvenir shop. But if you climb up the karst a little bit, come across these wonderful little sitting pavilion areas where you're pretty much all alone. But I am climbing Ding Hu Shan tomorrow, so I'm not going to overdo it with my little stroll through the park today. I'm old, I can cheat. Well, that's it. I'm out of the park just a couple of hours, got rained on a little bit. But uh, it empties you out into this giant parking lot that is empty. And now I get to walk all the way back to the hotel. It's gonna be quite a, a walk, to be honest. 
have to walk through a couple of villages to get there. Uh, these folks want to interview me for the local uh, Jiaoqing media. Yes. Okay, so what do you think about Jiaoqing? Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. I'm here for three days to see the seven star crags and Dinghushan. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's so many places to see. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank uh -huh. you very much. My thank pleasure. you. Thank, right. you, thank you. This guy's got a serious DJI drone. <laughs> This little village that uh, runs along the road, alongside the park, it's very hip. They got tea houses and bars and restaurants and little guest houses. It's a really cool part of town. I can tell the nightlife here must be really great. Who doesn't love a cat cafe? these little artsy fartsy neighborhoods and this one has an incredible view. I'm gonna have to come back here tonight and see what it's all about. This is the steakhouse right next to the hotel and uh, the steak looks amazing, the menu online, so I thought I'd give it a try. It's one of these modern, ultra-hip kind of restaurants along this road. 